What does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit is God's invisible power and influence. Over time, the role of the Holy Spirit changed. In Old Testament times and before Jesus' baptism, the function of the Holy Spirit was primarily to guide and direct His prophets by inspiring them to write words they generally did not understand. The meanings of these writings were often revealed in the New Testament, meant for us to study and understand now. After Jesus died, the apostles and others received miraculous gifts of the Holy Spirit to help establish the early church and quickly spread the gospel message, such as being able to preach in different languages. These miraculous gifts ended once the apostles died. In our day, those who make a consecration to God, if accepted, receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. To make a consecration means transforming one's life, trying to follow the way Jesus lived his life. A consecrated person turns away from their natural sinful tendencies and instead tries very hard to obey God's will in every decision of life. The Bible calls those with the Holy Spirit, Spirit Begotten. A Spirit Begotten person sees, thinks, speaks, and acts differently than they did before. Their loyalty and allegiance is to God first. They are committed to a higher purpose, doing things God's way instead of their way. The Holy Spirit is like a tool to help a person do the work required to live a consecrated life. When a person is spirit begotten, they can be helped with their weaknesses, be a good example to others, develop the fruit of the Spirit Paul describes in Galatians in order to glorify God, be comforted through their difficult experiences, knowing that the power of God is working in their lives for their best spiritual welfare, be inspired to share the Word of God with others, Help transform and renew their minds to set their focus on serving God. Have a greater understanding of the Bible, not through a miracle without any effort, but through the hard work of studying God's Word. Have a sense of peace as they rejoice in the Lord and guard their hearts and minds against evil. Be motivated to serve and build up other Christians. Be guided in the work of self-sacrifice, which is giving up one's own desires in order to do the will of God. Increase their own hope and faith in God and His promises. Romans says, And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. So what does the Holy Spirit do? The function of the Holy Spirit changed over time. Today, it motivates, helps, comforts, and inspires dedicated Christians. A consecrated life is not easy. It is full of hardships, persecutions, and sacrifices. However, with the Holy Spirit, there is a quiet joy, peace, comfort, and strength that God, through His invisible power and influence, is helping every step of the way. Thank you for liking and subscribing.